Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're diving into a common challenge faced by many developers. Our viewer asks, why does an async function return promise pending? Let's break it down. Here's a quick overview of the problem. Our viewer has an async function that reads a file. When it logs the content, it works perfectly, but when they try to return that content, they see a promise in the console instead. Why is that? We'll explore why returning a value from an async function results in a promise and how to effectively manage asynchronous operations in your code. Plus, we'll discuss how to structure your workflow using async await. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. Yes, let's start by understanding why your async function returns a promise when you try to return a value from it. In your first example, you log the content directly which works because you're handling the value inside the function. However, when you return it, the function itself returns a promise. To handle multiple asynchronous operations, like checking if a file exists, reading it, and updating a database, you can use async await syntax effectively. It's important to wrap your entire workflow in an async function to use await properly. This allows you to pause execution until each promise resolves. In summary, remember that async functions always return a promise, and to work with multiple async operations, use await within an async function. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. In this example, we define an asynchronous function called search content XML file. It reads a file and searches for specific content within it. If the file is read successfully, it resolves the promise with the index of the content. If there's an error, it rejects the promise. To use this function, we can call it with the path to the XML file and the content we want to search for. The await keyword ensures we wait for the promise to resolve before proceeding. I hope that video helped find the resolution that you're looking for. And if it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Until the next time that you need more technical help, I hope you have a great one. See ya.